Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to create an IAM user. Okay. So before that, I'll just briefly try to explain what an IAM user is. So whenever you create an AWS account, you use uh, basically an email ID to create your AWS account. So that email ID and password becomes your uh, root user credentials. So when you log into your AWS account using the email ID that you used to create the account, you will have access for all the resources and services in that particular AWS account. Okay, so that is called uh, root user. Now, suppose if you want to grant access to someone else with, uh, let's say, limited permissions and access, then you you can uh, make use of IAM and create an IAM user. So you can create a an user and uh, which has a username and password, and then that user can uh, log in into your account using those credentials, and he will have the permissions. He or she will have the permissions only which you have granted to that user. Okay, so with that context, uh, let's try to see how to create an IAM user. Okay, I'm in my AWS console. I'll just open uh, IAM. Okay, so once you are in IAM uh, console, this is how it looks like. Okay, to uh, create a an user, click on users here. Okay, so I don't have any users created uh, yet. So click on create user. Okay, uh, if you basically before just one point before uh, you start creating user, I am logged in through my root account. So you either need to be logged into your root user or an IAM user which has permissions to create IAM users. Okay, so uh, yep, you can click on create user and username is anything that uh, let's call it John or something. Okay, so and uh, this is basically uh, it's asking whether you want to give this user a management console access. Okay, if you don't check this box, this user will have only programmatic access, meaning he can uh, access your AWS account only through uh, like SDKs or CLI. Okay, so I am going to give this user a program like uh, console access as well. So I am going to check this, and uh, I am going to click on I want to create an IAM user here, and you want to auto generate the password, or if you want to give a custom password, you can just give it here. So make sure you give the password which satisfy all this uh, conditions. Okay, so here it's asking whether you want the user to create a new password when he or she first signs in into your AWS account. Okay, I'm just going to uncheck this. Okay and click on next and here it's asking like what are the permissions that you want to give to this user okay so if you already have an IAM user group created so group is basically uh, like a group of users which have a certain set of permissions uh, you can add this user to this group and this user will automatically get all the permissions which are there for that group okay since i don't have any group created as of now i'm going i'm not going to select this or you can also copy permissions from other uh, policies or group memberships so i'm not going to select this as well i'm going to select uh, policies attach the policies directly okay so when you select this it shows you the list of policies that are there policy is basically uh, let's say a json uh, document which defines the access that this uh, you know iam user will have okay so if i expand this policy it will show you this is the json uh, you know document for this policy okay you can attach any policy to this iam user and that user will have uh, that particular policy so if i select this administrator access basically the user will have all like if you see allow action star and resource star so he will have permission for all the resources i don't want to give him administrator access so let's try to give him only s3 access okay so i'm going to give him only amazon s3 full access so let's say he j we just want that user to be accessing only s3 okay so we'll select that and permissions boundary for now we will ignore it i will cover this in my upcoming videos okay and click on next okay it's just asking us to uh, review this uh, settings okay so it looks good click on create user okay so yep once you have created the user uh, you can also email the sign-in instructions to that user okay um, now let's try to log in to this i mean using these user credentials and see what permissions does that user have okay i'm going to open a new window and uh, we'll try to log in in that window okay i had uh, copied that sign in url click on enter here okay so this is our account id i am username i'm going to give as john and password is what we gave when you were creating the IAM user. Okay, so let's click on sign in. Okay, now if you see, we are signed in as uh, signed in as uh, 
john and here if you see john and this account okay so let's try to access uh, some other service like let's say uh, ec2 uh, from this user if you see it's saying like uh, it's not authorized to perform all this uh, operation so that's why all we are getting we are seeing all these errors so if you see click on instances running you see like you are getting an error saying you are not authorized to perform this operation so because we have not given this user any access for iam uh, sorry ec2 so let's try to because we had given this user full access to s3 let's try to access s3 from this user okay so yep if you see is able to, like we are able to see the buckets and everything we can able to like i mean download the files etc okay so yep that's uh, that's pretty much how you create uh, iam users and grant them uh, like i mean particular access and use those iam credentials to log into your aws account okay so this was just a basic video on how to create an iam user in the upcoming videos we will see uh, we'll dig more in deep in deep into what an iam role is and what iam policies are so in this case we had attached s3 full access policies to this user we'll try to understand more about policies and uh, things like that okay so i <coughs> i hope you found this video helpful and i'll see you in the next video thank you